Hello and welcome to Boats and Engines. In this episode we're going to have a look at the um, aerodynamics on the controversial Cybertruck by Tesla. So we're using CFD software that's computational fluid dynamics and here you can see we're at 17.8 meters per second which is 40 miles an hour as showing the velocity of the air going over the car. You can see um, so that's showing the tubes, again velocity, and one of the issues people have been talking about is um, the fr the angle on the top of a car uh, causing separation, ruining the aerodynamics, but you can see that's not happening. It's actually a straight line, it's normally a bad idea, but um, it's shallow enough angle for, it to, for the air not to separate. Uh, another interesting feature, showing it on the pressure graph here, is on that blunt front of a the front of the car there's kind of a vortex of high pressure and low velocity air and that's acting as almost an artificial splitter and we'll talk about that a bit more later but it's obviously a very clever design actually um, again still at 17.8 meters per second 40 miles an hour showing air velocity now showing actual surface pressure on the car so the Towards the red end of the spectrum, that's high pressure, blue ends, low pressure. And you can see it's all pretty even over most of the car, apart from on that front nose cone, there is that high pressure area. But um, I think that's some clever design on the part of Tesla, creating that uh, air vortex in front of the car. And interestingly, I think we'll go through it and increase speeds and uh, see what happens to the coefficient of drag as speed goes up. Again, pressure, seeing that nice pressure wave on the bow. Right, now we're trying to um, actually generate a coefficient of drag figure. Bear in mind, I didn't actually get the model all the way down on the ground. And this is harsh software, so it's um, going to make it look like it worse, it's worse than it is. But you can see it's averaging out here at about 0.4 coefficient of drag. Which for a pickup is pretty damn good. Um, most pickups, I think the F-150 is about 0.45, um, to put it in perspective, a bricks one, the lower the number the better. Now we've uh, jumped up to 26 meters per second, or 27, and that's uh, 60 miles an hour. Just showing air velocity there, I was just repositioning the uh, analysis plane. And you can see again the vortex in front of a car. Um, a bit of high velocity at the at the window edge but nothing severe and again the pressure wave on the uh, front of a car so yeah I, I think it's pretty impressive my software is harsh so it's the results I'm getting I'm sure it's better than this in real life I have run other cars and uh, they don't get near their claimed figures and so this is doing pretty well so that's just showing the vectors, the direction of the uh, air travelling over it. And then uh, velocity using tubes. So you can see there is a bit of turbulent air behind it. But um, again, it does get pulled down to the ground, so it's pretty good. Again, at higher speed, you can see the uh, pressure on the front of the truck. And this is showing surface pressure over the bodywork. So now we've gone up to 39.34 metres per second, which is, of course, 88 miles an hour. And um, you, you won't see it on this bit, but this car, you see how the um, velocity uh, behind the car, how it's getting sucked down to the ground, and uh, you've got that static bit of air in front of it, just there, that pressure wave. Um as the speed increases, the uh, coefficient of drag is actually going down. So, so this is some clever stuff. Um, I'll do in a second a um, actual CFD figure and uh, see what the coefficient of drag is at 88 miles an hour. If you uh, if you don't know why I'm doing it at that speed, then go back to sleep. <laughs> right. So here we go. And um, it's 
this is I've cut off a video but it's stabilized now so the model stable or though in fact you can still see the grass dropping and um, it gets down to uh, about 0.38 um, in reality I suspect at high speeds this car is probably closer to 0.3 which is really impressive anything below 0.3 is like ridiculously good um, an average car is going to be 0.35 a typical pickup's about 0.45, Lamborghini Contash about 0.43 or 0.45. Right, so that's the analysis. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my other videos and sub to my channel. I do some pretty crazy boat builds, so check them out as well. Thank you for watching.